1931 uh, there was a very significant development as far as uh, the Donegal Railway was concerned and certainly as far as rail cars across the British Isles was concerned because it saw the introduction of these two rail cars running in tandem as you can see here um, which occasionally took place uh, heading up towards the Barnsmore Gap. These are the first diesel engined rail cars in the British Isles to enter regular passenger service so they um, they were only just picked at the post by a German uh, diesel engine rail car uh, that began operating a, a couple of months earlier but um, these were designed at the GNRI's Dundalk Works and um, they were given Gardner 6L2 engines and O'Doherty's in Strabane built the bodies and the number 7 which is the one in front entered service in June 1931 and so it was running on a regular um, timetabled service. Uh, its sister rail car, uh, number eight at the back here, uh, began operating in the following November. And very soon they were covering quite a number of uh, passenger workings, either together or independently, or with rail car trailers or uh, whatever. And um, they were, of course, much more powerful than the previous petrol engine. Uh, they were about 27 foot long and about 7 foot wide and they, as you can see they have a four wheel bogey over the, under the main passenger compartment and a long uh, pivot reaching out to the front uh, pony truck which uh, uh, was under, located under the engine. In fact the engine and radiator were too wide for the wheels to go underneath so the pony truck was extended right in front of the um, right in front of the uh, radiator as you can see there and uh, this gave them really quite an odd appearance a sort of a um, well they were de described as, as having a sit up and beg look now uh, unfortunately neither of these survived into um, into preservation or into a museum or whatever but they're quite remarkable vehicles in many ways because they do represent a major advance generally for rail cars uh, across across Europe in general and the British Isles and Ireland in particular and so these were operating here, here they are they're actually climbing up towards the summit of the Barnsmore Gap they could um, they averaged about 30 miles an hour so at the moment they're only doing 11 miles an hour according to um, trains so let's give them a bit of open the throttle a bit They could get up to 43 miles an hour. Apparently, that was um, recorded on one of the um, uh, one of the declines uh, coming down from the Barnsmore Gap towards Donegal Town. And you sort of get the impression that the driver might have, uh, you know, might have run away um, uh, from from him for a short while. Anyway, they were um, very enthusiastically um, received by Forbes, and the fuel consumption apparently was very good and they operated between, um, right the way through from Straban, right the way through the gap here, past Stranola to, in, down the gap through to um, Donegal Town and onto Killy Beggs. Uh, it was ch chain drive um, uh, from the engine back to the powered bogey, which is the rear bogey. And uh, this always gave, um, especially in wet weather, you know, it was always subject to be um, uh, coated in muck and caused problems in that way and it wore and stretched and all this sort of thing and um, in 1937 they actually introduced amazingly cast iron floor radiators which were fitted into these two and into the previous long nosed uh, but petrol engine rail car number six and uh, they, they spent a lot of their time running down to Ballyshannon from Donegal Town and Ran, as you can see here, quite um, regularly ran coupled together. And there's a driver in each. The uh, both engines are going. Both engines are uh, not just uh, idling. The rear engine isn't idling. It's actually engaging gear and is providing propulsion. Uh, and they could also haul wagons um, together. They could haul about uh, about six wagons. So. The, um, they were quite substantial in their uh, pulling capacity compared to the previous uh, rail cars and uh, the other aspect about them is that the in, in pulling away when they're coupled together like this in pulling away 
it's very difficult to coordinate the acceleration so you tended whichever one you tended to be if they were coupled together whichever one you tended to sit in um, it tended to um, uh, jump backwards and forwards a fair bit and here they are they're approaching Loch Morn which is at the head the summit we're not far off Derg Bridge Halt now and uh, in the distance over this way is the Barnsmore Gap once we once we've gone over the crest and I'm going to pick that journey up with the next rail cars but these as I say were a very significant development for the Donegal Railway they were reliable they were powerful and they are a significant advance on the previous little petrol engine rail cars and uh, they certainly served the railway very well indeed so that's all I'm going to show on this uh, video about rail cars 7 and 8 uh, both of the models are available free of charge from my website of course freeware for trains railway simulator and uh, along with the three foot gauge track and most of the rest here I think in this scene which is still unfinished um, is just standard built-in uh, features uh, including a lot of the foliage or probably the foliage I think is downloaded free from the download station but just to give you an idea now here we are coming up to this bleak moorland where there's actually a station uh, where a road comes down uh, we've been running parallel to the road coming up to the Barnsmore Gap and a road comes down just about where those trees are I think in the distance there and it's the summit of the line from for the whole 125 uh, mile three foot narrow gauge network and uh, very sh shortly uh, the line will swing right across the other end of Loch Morn and enter into the uh, Barnsmore Gap right over on the left hand side here which I'm indicating with the mouse so please subscribe to my channel ING for Trains it's completely free it's without any obligation and uh, encourages me to make more of these and to show you more about railway history uh, I shall be spreading it far beyond Donegal uh, as the series develops and um, uh, please leave a comment if you wish uh, give a thumbs up if you wish and uh, uh, I think that's about where we'll leave rail cars um, 7 and 8 